Time now, 448. Hurricane Adalia is now Category 3 hurricane. Winds of 125 miles per hour. We can take a live satellite image and also zoom in just a little bit here to show you what's going on. we got a well-defined eye this morning, and that's, of course, typical for a storm that is rapidly strengthening. Uh, now set to make landfall as a Category 4. So clearly that the eye is approaching the Big Bend of Florida, and we'll likely see it make uh, landfall around 7 o'clock this morning. And again, it's continually uh, starting to strengthen. And we're seeing that pressure in the middle of the storm uh, continuing to drop. So right now, again, a Category 3 hurricane likely going to be coming a low end Category 4. Again, this is a scale from 1 to 5. Uh, category 4 being a major hurricane, winds of 130 miles per hour. And likely, again, it'll weaken as it moves into Georgia, but still uh, by Wednesday morning, still holding on to around a Category one hurricane. So this is a big storm, especially for the area of Florida, which the Big Bend of Florida in recorded history has only seen one category four hurricane. That was back in 1896. So a pretty impressive stat and also one that shows that the people in the Big Bend of Florida have not seen a hurricane of this caliber in any uh, modern times. But right now Springfield, it's cloudy out there. Uh, Greenfield cloudy as well. Some low lying fog possible. We got the uh, breeze coming right out of the south. Nice and calm temperatures in the 70s up and down the valley and we're going to be seeing those temperatures get into the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees as we go into the afternoon. The good news about today is humidity is going to back off a little bit as we go towards the afternoon as well. And that's because of the showers and again a brief thunderstorm or two we could see for this morning. That is the top of the Twin Cities Storm Team forecast focus for the day on uh, uh, Thursday. Mostly sunny temperatures in the 70s right now. The weekend looks dry and also very comfortable. Very light scattered showers out there right now. We are watching this one line of some showers and storms off to our west. And this is what could bring some downpours as we go through the middle half of this morning around 9, 10, 11 o'clock. So we'll keep an eye on that. We're not expecting anything severe, but here we are in the 20th News Storm Team Skycast. 5 o'clock this morning. Scattered showers continue again by 9, 10 o'clock. Here comes that line of some heavier downpours and even the chance for a rumble of thunder moving its way into the valley around 10, 11 o'clock. And then we eventually gradually th uh, clear things out and we see the humidity back off a little bit as we go into the afternoon. We got clear skies as we go through tonight and also through much of the rest of the week. So for today, upper 70s and low 80s with those partly uh, sunny skies returning for the afternoon. As we go through tonight, we're in the 50s and again, that lower humidity continues for tomorrow, Friday and into the weekend. It looks like a beautiful seven day forecast once we get through the rain today. Sunny for Thursday, looking good for Friday. Right now, the weekend looks great. Saturday and Sunday, temperatures staying in the 80s and then we get hot as we go into the first week of September, Monday and Tuesday right around 90 degrees. If you want to stay with us on an online, you could do so by getting the free 20 News mobile app.